Hey everyone, Boone here from PremiumBeat.com. So it's that time of year again. Adobe is releasing the information for their latest release of Creative Cloud, which is Adobe Creative Cloud 2019. It'll be coming out later this year. And Premiere Pro in particular has a lot of new features. So I'm gonna show you some of that stuff right now. Let's get started. So here I'm working with a motion graphics template that I created inside of After Effects and one of the biggest updates to Premiere Pro and After Effects is this essential graphics panel workflow. And if you look over here you're going to see something totally new and that's the fact that I can now change the font inside of Premiere Pro right here inside of the essential graphics panel. So you can enable this feature inside of After Effects and it allows you to change the font, change the style and this has been a feature that people have wanted for a long time. So it's really great to see this. Another cool feature is you can now group parameters and properties. So if you look here, these parameters have been grouped. So when I close this off, I can keep things nice and neat right here in the panel. You'll also have the ability to work with spreadsheet and data-driven infographics straight here inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So if I go over here to the Browse tab, let me show you something. I created this infographic inside of After Effects. This is data-driven. I have this connected to a spreadsheet file. And when we update these data points, it's set up to update basically these elements in the background as well. Now, I exported this as a motion graphics template. If we go over here, we can see that now we can see this spreadsheet information straight here. I can go over here, I can edit the spreadsheet data, and I can drop another spreadsheet to automatically update it. If I click edit, you'll see here now that if I type something in, it's gonna automatically update in the background there. Very, very cool. But one of the coolest features about this is the fact that now once this is all set up, if I go into that source file, that spreadsheet file, and update it on the CSV file, it's going to automatically update this information inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Very, very cool if you're working with a large number of data-driven infographics. So Adobe has introduced a couple of new audio cleanup tools for the dialogue option inside of the Essential Sound panel. So here I have a quick little piece of dialogue that I recorded. It's me talking with some reverb on it. And if I assign this as dialogue and I open up the repair section, essentially the new options are they have an enhanced reduce noise tool here and they have an all new reduce reverb tool. So let me show you the reduce reverb. First, let's listen to the clip. Hey everyone, here's some reverb. I'm gonna to try to get rid of some of this reverb with the new reduce reverb tool. What do you think? Okay, so I'm gonna simply select this. Let's have a listen. Hey everyone, here's some reverb. I'm gonna to try to get rid of some of this reverb with the new reduce reverb tool. What do you think? Hey everyone, here's some reverb. I'm gonna to try to get rid of some of this reverb with the new reduce reverb tool. What do you think? As you can see, it still needs some work, but it's much better. So just earlier this year, Adobe introduced the color match feature inside of the Lumetri color panel. This was a huge addition to the program. And now they've upped the ante again, and they've introduced five new tools inside of the curves panel. And now this really allows you to do some serious selective color grading. If we open up this new hue saturation curve section, here we can see the five new tools. Now this gives us a lot of options here. We have hue versus saturation, hue versus hue, hue versus luma, luma versus saturation, and saturation versus saturation. So let's take a quick look at what we can do with this. For this particular curves graph, we have the hue mapped horizontally and we have the saturation mapped vertically. So now let's say I want to change, I want to boost the saturation of this green background. I can click on it with my eyedropper tool. It's going to select that particular color. Now I'm going to click this middle part here. Now what this vertical bar is showing us here is a preview of what we're going to do if we move this. So if we move it all the way down, it's going to kind of desaturate that, that hue. If I move it all the way up, it's going to boost the saturation. Now I can go over here, grab her skin tone, it's going to give me some points. If I click on it, again, it's going to give me that preview. If I go up, it's really going to boost that particular hue. If I go down, it's going to kind of completely take the saturation out. See, we can see she doesn't have much color in her skin there. So very cool. Now for the next one, if I want to go down here, I can change the hue of a particular hue. I can change the luminance, brightness values of a particular hue. So it's very, very cool. Say I just want to lower the brightness of her face and go and start to lower or boost it just a little bit. So this gives you a lot of additional control when you're doing your color grading. So last but not least, there's new support for VR 180, including optimized ingest, editorial, and effects for monoscopic and stereoscopic content. You can now output your finished videos in the Google VR 180 format for YouTube and other platforms.
So there you have it. What feature are you looking forward to most in Adobe Premiere Pro 2019? Let me know in the comments section. I'd love to hear your thoughts. As always, thanks for watching the tutorial. Be sure to check out Premium Beat for high quality, royalty free music and sound effects for all of your media and video projects. Thank you.